Hello everyone, since I got a positive feedback about the intro of my videos, I decided to use it again, so you will see it further on my new videos. But let's jump into the topic for today, which is how you can use a laptop's display as a monitor. So using your laptop as a monitor for other devices, which can be a desktop or a Raspberry Pi or anything that has a HDMI output. So there were countless times where I needed to view something from a device, which is, let's say, a Raspberry Pi, and I didn't have the monitor in order to, to view what's going on it. And yeah, you can use SSH. Maybe there are cases when you don't have even a Ethernet cable. That's where this text device comes in handy. So this is a video capture card. This is the cheapest one that I could get. It's bought locally. Uh, I, I didn't want to wait for Aliexpress or Amazon for this cheap thing. There are more expensive ones. I, I'm not sure about the ranges, but for this one I paid like eight, eight bucks, if I'm not mistaken, or maximum ten. But it's around eight, uh, eight and something. So for eight dollars, this is a very helpful device. It has an HDMI input and a USB output. So what this thing does is using your Raspberry Pi or your desktop as a source, a video source, and using a laptop's uh, display as an output. Or you can use a desktop, but if you have a desktop, then you have a monitor <laughs> to connect to it. So before having a monitor a few years ago, when I was working only on laptops, it was a really struggle if I want to test something, test maybe a, a desktop unit or something that required a monitor. So this thing is very handy in such cases. Or maybe you are, you are traveling. And so this happened to me last year. I was traveling for one month and I found a bargain on a mini PC. And when the mini PC arrived, I had only the laptop with me and I couldn't check if the the mini PC works. I mean, I can, I could hear it, but I didn't uh, see anything because I, I didn't have the monitor with me. So then I bought this little thing. So it's just, you need an HDMI cable and you will plug one end into the HDMI port and the USB in your laptop. And the other end of the HDMI cable, you will plug into the Raspberry Pi or the desktop that you want to test. And also, this is very helpful. I mean, not th this version, because this version might be a bit laggy. And so you'll see that the mouse movings will be somehow laggy, because this is a cheap version. But you can also use this if you have a less powerful computer. You can use another computer in order to record or stream through OBS Studio. So to your YouTube or just record videos. So you can play on your main machine and you can record with your second machine. So the main machine has more uh, processing power in order to use for that specific game. So let's see how this actually works. So firstly, let's see how we can use the video capture card that we spoke about in order to view on the laptop screen what is on the Z2 Mini G3 workstation. So you will need the video capture card, which we already talked about, and just a regular HDMI cable. So the order will be, you will plug one end of the cable into the card, and this will go to the laptop. So the video card will be on the laptop. And the other end will be into the HDMI port of the computer or device that you want to to use as a source. The Z2 Mini G3 doesn't have an HDMI port, that's why I'm using an adapter to HDMI to display port. Okay, so there will be two ways in order to, to view the source. So first let's power up the, the HP. 
uh, it should be powering up. And I also have a mouse attached to the Z2 G3. So the first option is to use the camera that you have on the laptop. So just choose camera from the search. And on the camera, you will have to select from the right side this change camera button and uh, top right you see you yeah. we have the uh, z2 desktop and my mouse is moving i can do anything that i want so this display is from the uh, z2 g3 mini and if as you see the mouse is moving if I remove the ESB that is from the mouse, the mouse is not moving. So just to be sure that it's correct. Now it's it's moving again. Okay, so this is the first uh, option. It's somehow useful, but the only thing is you can't go full screen with this. So you can use it as it is, but you can switch to full screen. So the second option is by using the VBS uh, tool that you usually use in order to record something or to stream. So it's the OBS Studio. So you'll have to go. I'm not sure how much will you see. I think this is better. You'll have to go here to add a new source. And from this menu, you will have to choose a video capture device. Just press OK. And from device use USB video. And here we go. And just press OK. And now you can go full screen projector. And now you have the full screen from the the device but in this case this is not very helpful so let's go with windowed and so, so the resolution is is bigger than this laptop has let's see if we can do something about it not really Nope. So, hmm. let's use a custom resolution of one thousand twenty four by seven hundred sixty eight. And now, if we go full screen. Yeah, no, let's change the resolution. Mm. So go back here in the custom and let's pick 1280 by 1024. No, still not enough. This should almost work. No, this is too much. So let's see if this worked as expected 
Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, it's not great. But you can uh, tweak between the displays. I mean, display values, and you can choose the, the right one for your convenience and, and as per your laptop's display resolution. But as you can see, it works. So, yeah, this is a great option if you don't have a monitor but you have a laptop. So let's shut this down. So this is the screen you'll see if there is no input device attached. So secondly, we will do the same thing with the Raspberry Pi. So I have here a Raspberry Pi 3B+, Plus, which currently has a Pi hole on it, if I'm not mistaken. But let's see how it goes. So I need to power it up. And it's the same procedure. On the video, we will have, so the Raspberry will be the source. So just plug the HDMI and the laptop will be the one displaying. So you need to attach the card to a USB. And also let's attach the mouse to this. Raspberry Pi, and we'll just need a second to plug it. So let's see. First, we will try with camera. And you see, you have the Raspberry Pi booting into the laptop's display, I mean the Raspberry Pi boot itself, and it displays the information into the, onto the laptop screen. And I don't think a mouse would do anything, but I also have the keyboard that is communicating with the same, the same USB. I have here also the keyboard, which is using the same USB dongle. So, yeah, now it works. So, you can see. I'm not sure why, but the keyboard isn't working very well. Let me just force restart the Raspberry Pi. So, plug it out and plug it in again. You can see. Let me check if this keyboard has batteries. It has, but I'm not sure what state are they in. So, assuming that the batteries are fine, yeah, now it works. You see, maybe it was something related to the battery. So, yeah, we have the Raspberry Pi using the camera setting, and now let's switch to the OBS. Hmm. This is interesting. Okay, so you need to just reset the connection. In case it doesn't work, I created a new source connection. So we'll go with full screen. Yeah, so this is great. And keyboard works.
So I think this is very helpful in case you don't have a monitor and you want to work on maybe on Raspberry Pis without using SSH in order to to log in or install something or update the packages. Or maybe you don't have a monitor but you have a laptop and also you want to test something on a desktop or a workstation or what anything that doesn't have a display attached to it. So you can use your laptop as a display. So yeah, that was all for today. I hope you liked it. Uh, please subscribe and see you in the next video. Cheers.